YTPC. It's your boy Glass. Now watch the Smoke Squad channel. Thank you for watching. Sitting out here in my garage. Heater says it's 60, 64 degrees, real comfortable. Handling some business on my computer. And uh, I know I've said it before, I'm saying it again. I cannot hang with you guys. I will go broke. Other than getting these magazines in the mail, this is pipes and cigars. I get this. I get cigar magazines. I got them over there somewhere. Then listen to you guys. Tell me how good these blends are. You know I got to try them out. I said it. I'm trying to get down to 15 to 20 blends I like and just stock up on it. I think I'm doing two right now at Scudo and Molta Dolce. But I got too much tobacco, even for me. Before I move on, housekeeping. I just, when I was doing work on the computer, I was smoking out of my Peterson Bulldog. Yeah. I need to clean up the, this band a little bit. I need to clean my pipes. That's what I need to do. But in it, I was smoking some 2017 LJ Peretti's Thanksgiving Day. And I must say, with some age, this is some good stuff. Uh, this is a Virginia Burley. Got anisette, rum, and I think they said fruit, citrus, fruit, whatever. I didn't like it at first when I first purchased this in 2017, but now with some age, real nice. I'll be smoking this until Thanksgiving. So, and I am chasing that with what's in this pipe, a basket pipe. There's no name on it, but I still love this pipe. Comfortable in my hand, comfortable in my mouth. And in it, I am smoking Country Squire's Second Breakfast from 2020 that I was gifted by Jeffrey Alton Carter, Renaissance Piper. Thanks again, Jeff, because I am enjoying it. About to wrap everything up, go in here, go to bed. But back to what I was saying. I did inventory that's in my cellar. I put it on my phone. And I have it here. I got a I made me a pipe notebook. Here you are inventory. I was bored that weekend, it took me a few hours. But anyway, with that being said, in my inventory, I have 55 jars and 72 tins. I got more than enough that last me. I know, you know, I understand this. I've seen some stuff. Oops. I've seen some sellers that are just outstanding. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get up there. I'm just trying to get enough for me to enjoy. My plan is, and I said it before and I'm gonna say it again, break it down to 15 to 20 blends I like and just stock up on it. Just them 20, 15 to 20 blends. Just stock up on that. I don't know if I could do it because I keep on watching Onion and then Paladin and then Doug Curmudgeon 
and y'all just make it look so good. I just got to try it out. So, I know what I want to do, whether or not I, I'll do it is a whole different thing because it just prove, just to prove my point. Mm. Drinking some cinnamon tea. But to prove my point, I think just one blend comes out twice a year. I believe in April and just came out October 31st. I missed it in April. I made sure to put it in my calendar to be there when it's available October 31st, which was what, Halloween. And I was able to catch the blend. <laughs> I could have got eight ounces, but I figured let me buy four. Because if I don't like it, I won't be feeling too bad. I just bought four ounces. But if I like this, come in April when it comes available again, I'm getting another four or get another eight ounces. Or get a pound. It is Watch City Cigars. Roy Guru. Hopefully I said it right. There you go. Came in yesterday. And uh, it's a Virginia Perique. I've heard everybody rave about it. So I'm going to see what it, what's all the hoopla is about. And since I was already there. I said, let me go ahead and buy something I haven't had before and try it out. I got me the, what is it called? Flake number 558. Yeah. And this is unique. You know, I'm used to these little thin flakes, like uh, Golden Slice, or the Golden Slice. These are thick. They're also a Virginia Perique. Oh, look how thick, oh wow. Look how thick that is. That's thick. Looks good. That's thick. I got like, there you go. Two ounces. Try it out, see how it goes. But like I said, there I go again, spending more money on more tobacco. I think eventually I'm gonna wean down to getting my Black Cavendish blends, my Virginia blends, my Virginia Perique blends. I don't really care for Burley, but if it's a Burley Virginia or Burley Cavendish blend, I'll try it out. But I'm gonna try to get down to 15 to 20 blends and be done with it. Because to have, I don't know what I mean, 58, jars of bulk blends they're not the same huh? no they're not the same might be two or three that's the same but there's uh 58 different blends ridiculous can't help myself so got that another one i enjoy i think pipes and cigars got to sell on it this week is seattle pipe clubs potlet I don't think you get enough love that is deserved, but Potlatch is a good, mellow English blend. <sighs> I don't know what to do, man. So sometime this week or next week, I'm going to try that. Hopefully I say it right. Rougarou blend. And if I have enough time, I brought me up some L.J. Paredes Omega, nice little English blend from 2018. I got, see, I got too much, too much tobacco, man. Too many different blends. I'll let you know if I, I might have to give away some. I don't know. P.A.D. and T.A.D. is real. I think I'm in it right there. 
as I enjoy this. 58 jars, 72 tins. If you did an inventory of your seller, let me know how much you got so I can see range where I am. Am I still at a novice position, aficionado position? Let me know. Let me know how many, got, how many uh, jars and tins that you have. Cause I've seen sellers. I think I've seen which one that stands out? Beans 316, his seller. <laughs> Gosh, if I can find it, I'll put it up here. Ridiculous. I'm envious, bro. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I'm going to enjoy, finish off this second breakfast. I think I'm going to bed after this. So, this your boy Glass. You have now watched Smoke Swag Channel. Thank you for watching. And as always, be good, be safe, like them bowls or sticks. Love you. Talk to you later. Peace.